Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nick here and welcome to my review of Alien vs Predator, the first of the two AVP films and in a in the franchises it's technically the fifth in the Alien and the third in the Predator franchises and overall it's the seventh. So AVP. Okay, this one is a bit of an odd one because uh, the theatrical cut uh, is actually not very good. In fact, in my list in uh, in my uh, Requiem Steelbook review, it came last. However, the special edi extended edition is a bit better and it includes more of the violence and gore and stuff. And it actually feels a bit more of a better told story in the extended cut. I don't know why. I don't think much has been added to the story, just that it's a more deserving of the 15 and R ratings, although the, the theatrical cut's got a PG-13 in America. It might even be a 12 now, but the extended edition's a 15. It was certainly a 15 when it originally came out. Hmm, I don't know, maybe it got lowered to 12 for the theatrical cut, but the extended edition certainly would be a 15. Uh, oh well. Anyway, the plot of the film sees um, some people find a pyramid under Antarctica so they go down to investigate. It turns out it is a trap. They become the prey for the aliens or unless they're the ones who have the aliens burst out of their chest and then that means some predators who are uh, teenage predators looking to go to the ranks of uh, being a warrior as seen in the previous two films would have to hunt and kill the aliens in order to get their honour. However, the humans steal some guns, which means the predators sadly die, including one who kind of bonds with our main character, but it's okay, he gets he only dies at the end, and it, in a twist, it turns out he had gotten a face hugger on him when he took off his mask, and therefore he is able to give birth to a pred-alien, which we'll see as the main villain of the next film. Anyway, um, the humans are just looking around, basically, a discovery, in a way. And we feature Mr. Wayland, who will pop back up in Prometheus, this time played by Lance Henskin, uh, like previously Bishop in Alien, uh, uh, Aliens and Alien 3. Um, although Alien 3 was supposedly the guy who originally created him, so... But then again, it was supposedly a droid there, supposedly. So they get, ha, probably had the excuse to use Mr. Wayland, played by Lance Henskrin, here. Whilst in the prequels, it will be a completely different story, this uh, with Guy Pierce. We'll get more into that next time. Uh, not next time, when we get to Onto Covenant. And to be honest, besides him and... The main character, who's interesting but and likable, but not on the same level as Ripley. I think they developed Ripley more, especially in the second, third, and fourth films. Um, so this one is a good lead character, though, and she is a very cool one and does look some awesome, does some awesome stuff. There's also this Italian guy; he's also pretty cool, but sadly he dies. And um, there's also this Scottish guy who we focus a lot of time on. Strangely, it's just uh, the main character, the Italian, and his helper, who uh, gets an alien ripped out of his chest, that we see getting recruited, and then just everybody else just meets either on the way to the boat or on the boat. But the Scottish guy has some, has a nice personality. He's cool. Uh, sadly, he dies, and yeah, everyone dies apart from the main girl. Anyway, early. It's actually quite interesting seeing the predators and the aliens in the pyramid and doing this stuff. And it's explained well. Although how the Italian guy can read three different languages, hieroglyphs, is beyond me. And... Um, yeah, Colin Salmon's also pretty good in this. He's basically Bishop, uh, sorry, uh, Wayland's second in command. He has some good stuff before he dies, and yeah, I'm, I'm actually interested in. I'm actually quite interested about the predator-human relationship when they working together. It's a bit like 
how the Predators honoured uh, Danny Glover's character in the second film, uh, second Predator film, about because he defeated one of them, he's actually pretty honoured. Because uh, he's, he's a worthy warrior, and I think the same goes here for this, uh, for the lead character here, because the Predators honour her at the end for being a warrior, especially uh, after the Predator she was fighting with gave her the symbol for killing an alien. But uh, but it's not completely perfect. I think it is a bit of a slow drag, I think. Not as much as the first alien film, War Prometheus. But I think it, but it does take its damn time. That's the problem with these films, they take their time. And sometimes it's not always that interesting. I think Aliens was the best at taking its time, but developing the mystery as it did in developing the characters. So that was very good. Alien got close, but I think it just it's just a bit dull. Uh, Prometheus, it's interesting, but the whole story isn't that brilliant. And here, the, uh, the characters aren't terribly interesting, but it's not going to be too long before stuff actually gets happening, so it's not too much of a problem. Um... But it was a bit more boring on the first viewing, to be honest. I don't know why. I guess it was because it wasn't as gory or violent or alien predatory as the previous films. All of the previous films were rated R in America, and when they combined together, they were PG-13. In the UK, they were all 18, but now it's a 15. I don't know. I don't know. Requiem got a bit more violent, and that just passed that 15 somehow. I thought it was more violent than the first two Alien films, and their 18s. Well, I don't know. But, in the end, AVP, it's okay. It's pretty good, but it's not as it's not as good as the previous six films. It's better than some of the follow-ups. I haven't seen Predators yet, but out of the other ones, it's better than some of the follow-up, other follow-ups. But, other than that, it's okay, it's worth interest, but nothing too special, apart from the fact that it's, it's too uh, violent 20th Century Fox film aliens going up against each other um, for the first time on screen. I know other pieces of media like games and comics, they've done it, to, they've done it quite a bit, but for film, it's the first time and it's pretty cool. Well, first time on screen. I give Alien vs Predator a 7 out of 10. So, that's it from AVP, Alien vs Predator. The next Alien or Predator film we will be looking at will be Aliens vs Predator Requiem or AVPR. Um, which is not quite as good as the first film. Um, but I don't know, is it the weakest? It might not be. Maybe, um, we'll see. Um, before we get to that, we've got two other reviews. We've got Hail Caesar, the Coen Brothers film from 2016, and... 101 Dalmatians 1996, the live action adaptation of the uh, anime, animated Disney classic. And my sister's laughing and doing stuff next door. I don't know why. She's shouting about something. Happily. Never mind, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Nicholas Payne Retro YouTube channel.
Right, that's just a test. Not sure if I gave this. Not sure if I gave the score for Alien vs Predator, but if I didn't, then, and I've already did the score, then this is going to be at the bloopers. Whoops. Oh well. Anyway, moving on.